Welcome everyone to this review of a book by David William Plummer. If you're not a fan of, of Mr. Plummer, you need to be because he's got a great YouTube channel. Now granted, it's a bit heavily focused on the nerds in us. Uh, he's got a lot of really great coverage on restorations of ancient computer iron that he has restored and made part of his collection. He's also done another book pre previous to this um, that talks about him, you know, earning quite a lot of money in his lifetime and then finally discovering that he was on the autism spectrum well in his 50s, which really surprised me. Uh, and it does shed some light for those of us that, uh, that exhibit some autistic traits themselves. And that's what this book is really about. It's about the people who really never stood out as they were growing up as autistic, but definitely are on the non-visible part of the spectrum. And David gets, gets some great looks into his life and how he became more tolerant of dealing with his autism and more capable of recognizing it and realizing where his limitations were and adjusting his life accordingly. I, I think this is a fantastic look at what someone goes through to address autism both in their lives. And this is also a really good share if you've got somebody with autism in your life, um, a friend or a coworker or anybody that you know that's affected by autism, whether it's directly or they have a, a loved one or a friend that's affecting their lives. This is a great tool to allow them to adjust what they, how they perceive that individual in the light of the non-visible part of the autism spectrum. So I think this is a great read. David is a wonderful writer. Um, his YouTube channel, again, if you're even slightly on the nerd spectrum, his channel is gonna geek you out completely. Uh, it's got tons of really good insights. He was an early programmer uh, in Microsoft when Microsoft was growing at, at a ridiculous rate. He was part of that whole world. And he shares his life and his kind of coming into awareness of his own autism and what he learned and how to cope with it and how to teach other people how to cope with autistic people in their lives. So this book is, uh, is a treasure trove of information, both from the perspective of someone with autism and also helping people learn to adjust themselves to someone who is uh, on the autism spectrum. Again, David William Plummer, I, I, think you're, I think your writing is fantastic. I could not put this book down. I have bought other copies of it and shared it with loved ones that I know face someone with autism in their lives. And, uh, and it, is, uh, it is a great way to spread the word about autism and also about learning how to get yourself tested and to recognize the traits in yourself. So, do I recommend this book? You bet I do. This is a fantastic read. Even if you just want to learn more about autism and how its spectrum can vary so widely from person to person. Thanks for watching, everybody.